Good day, I'm Andrea Chisholm and this is your JIS News for Thursday, November 6. A team from the International Monetary Fund IMF is on the island to conduct the sixth review of Jamaica's performance under the Extended Fund Facility. The IMF mission, led by Yankees Martin, is scheduled to be in the island until November 14. During this period, the IMF will determine if Jamaica met all quantitative targets and structural benchmarks for the 2014 July to September quarter. Finance Minister Dr. Peter Phillips has said that based on the government's assessment, all the criteria were met. After passing the fifth IMF test in September, Jamaica received 68.8 million US dollars more from the multilateral agency, bringing total disbursements under the arrangement to 483.2 million US dollars. Over 3,000 residents in St. Elizabeth who use the burnt Savannah Knoxwood water supply system are in high spirits after the system was recently upgraded. With the new water system, we appreciate it very much and it did done a lot to us because plenty of us wasn't getting the water rightly and now that we are getting it good now, so we are very thankful for it. The system was upgraded at a cost of $59.6 million. It was executed by the National Water Commission through contractors Bacchus Engineering and Shere Khan Construction with supervision by the Rural Water Supply Limited. Phase 2 of cleanup activities in Portmore St. Catherine geared at reducing the spread of the chikungunya virus will begin this Saturday. The work, which will continue into Sunday, November 9, is part of government's National Health Emergency Vector Control Cleanup Campaign. 27 major communities in the municipality will be targeted over the two days. The Portmore Municipal Council is spearheading the works, which will include drain clearing, the cleaning of open lots, bushing and fogging. Meanwhile, Acting Permanent Secretary in the Health Ministry, Dr. Kevin Harvey, is addressing persistent doubt among some citizens who are not convinced that chick V is spread by the bite of an Aedes aegypti mosquito. Chikungunya is definitely not spread uh, through the air because the part of the developmental cycle for the virus takes place within the mosquito and hence it must pass through the mosquito to go from one individual to the next. He explains that when a mosquito becomes infected, the virus goes to its saliva gland and this contaminated saliva is released during biting. The mosquito injects saliva into your bloodstream to prevent it from clotting in order to take its blood meal and that's when it passes the virus to an, an individual and cause an infection. Dr. Harvey was speaking recently on a special televised panel discussion on the government's response to the outbreak of the chikungunya virus. The program was an initiative of the Ministry of Information and the Office of the Prime Minister. Jamaican students have dominated the regional ranking in the Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate CSEC June 2014 exams. Local students captured 161 top 10 positions in 30 subjects, followed by Trinidad and Tobago with 109 positions. The Ministry of Education has congratulated the students, pointing out that the regional ranking shows Jamaican students leading in mathematics, Caribbean history, religious education and information technology, among other subjects. Jamaican students and Niall Anderson of Manning School won the CXC Regional Award for the most outstanding candidate in the sciences. Meanwhile, Romario White of Campion College won the Regional Natural Science Award for CAPE, while Giselle Dixon of Wilmers Girls School was selected for the Regional Humanities Award. National Security Minister Peter Bunting says the police are pursuing leads in the killing of Horace Phillips, a consultant with the Jamaica Tourist Board. Mr. Phillips's body was found in a house in Marley Mountain, St. Catherine on Tuesday. Minister Bunting has condemned the killing and says the criminals who carried out the act must not go unpunished. He is urging law-abiding citizens to tell the police what they know so the perpetrators can be brought to justice. And finally, the by-election to elect a new Member of Parliament for Central Westmoreland will be held on Monday, December 1. Nomination Day will be on Wednesday, November 12. Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller yesterday advised Governor-General Sir Patrick Allen to issue the necessary proclamation and notification in accordance with the Representation of the People's Act. The seat became vacant when Roger Clark died in August. And that's it for GIS News Today. Amanda Chisholm, thank you for watching.